Anthony, even this house is amazing. Who did you buy this house from? Taylor Swift. This basement is insane. I'm standing here outside my brother Steven Scherer's house and this thing is huge. It is over 20,000 square feet, 12 bedrooms, 15 bathrooms, and four kitchens. Or wait, is it five kitchens? With almost half an acre of interior space, we're gonna get an inside look of this seven acre compound and how my brother Steven can afford it by making just YouTube videos for free. Come with me and let's go knock on the door, see if Steven is home, and let's get an exclusive inside look of this massive house and let's see if we can count if there really is five kitchens. I don't, I don't know why you would need five kitchens. Looking at this staircase you literally have to go up an entire flight of stairs just to go up to the stoop to get to this massive ornate handcrafted door i wonder if there's a doorbell maybe this thing hello uh, hey carter what's up steve i'm here for the house tour okay i'll be right down i'm making your bed right now on the fifth floor all right, well, how long is that gonna take? I'll head to the front door now, but it's gonna be a couple minutes. A couple minutes? Oh my gosh. It's literally gonna take Steven a couple minutes just to walk to the front door. This house is massive. So let's put the drone up and get a look on the outside while we wait for Steven. And here we go. I've been waiting. How big is this house? It takes you two minutes to go from one side to here. Well, it's big enough to fit all 10 million subscribers in it. We've been at the house before. We've seen some of the crazy grandness in here. Welcome. I'm so glad you all could come. I'm super excited to show this to you all. And thank you to everyone who has supported us and the entire Share family. None of this would have been possible without every single one of you. So I'm super excited to share this. Okay, so where should we start? Well, this is the main living room. And then of course we have the main centerpiece here, this giant fish tank, which I absolutely love. I don't have any names for any of the fish yet. If any of you have names, comment them down below. This fish tank costs a whopping $250,000. And Steven's about to explain why. Because the fish tank is so big, before they ever started construction of this house, they had to design the house around this fish tank. Because underneath, there's an entire fish tank room with a steel beam and giant, giant tanks, all to support this tank up here. It's like a hotel lobby. I mean, this place, it's crazy. I, actually, I haven't even noticed there was a TV there. I feel like the room is so big. And there's actually 22 TVs in this house that came with it. <laughs> but I haven't used a single one. This is kitchen number one has never been used once. This is the main kitchen? It's the main kitchen, but I didn't want to use it because it was too fancy. Does it work? It works, but it's never been used. It looks per like literally like squeaky clean. We got ovens here. Two refrigerators here. Oh my gosh, this is huge. I love water if you can't tell. Wow. This one's empty. Yeah, I didn't figure out what to fill that with yet. And then you might be wondering where the freezers are. We actually have eight freezers. We have all these freezers here. They pull out all down here. We got a microwave here, warming tray here. And then we have this crazy coffee maker, which is too crazy, it's kind of hard to use. And we have more freezers down here. Oh my gosh, and this one's empty. So you're not even using it. I know. Is that a freezer down there? Freezer down here. Wow. This is actually all news to me. I've been here a couple times. I didn't know there were eight freezers, but I do know, and this is kind of a freezer. It's an ice maker with no ice. I guess you don't use it. I'm European, so I don't use ice. <laughs> you're European. And we got, of course, our dishwasher here. Oh my gosh, is it a dishwasher? What? We got this thing, I'm not sure what this is. I think it's a steamer. That's yeah. cool. Oh, go. that's nice. And then, of course, we have our kitchen table here with a nice view of the backyard. Wow, that's a great view of the backyard. There's a few structures out there. We have the pool house, the greenhouse, and the barn, which a lot of cool stuff out there. So we're definitely gonna check that out. We have to finish 20,000 square feet interior before we head outside. Check it out, here it is, the dining room. Whoa, this is a pretty good dining room minus the dining table. <laughs> There's no furniture. A lot of the house is still missing furniture, but we do have a dining room table coming in. These chandeliers are crazy cool. I just found out the price. Oh, what, because you broke one? I was dancing silly and I broke one. How much was it? Guess. 20. More. 30. More. 40. More. 50. More. 60. $60,000 and you have two of them hanging in here? Jeez. If you're hungry, let's go in here into the snack pantry. Whoa, this looks like another kitchen. This is technically not really a kitchen because there is no stove, but it's now our hmm. snack pantry. And we have okay. all the snacks here. Wow, that looks pretty good. Well, that is all that's in here because all the drawers and everything else 
are completely empty. Now it's time to go into the actual kitchen I use, so we'll come across this hallway. And obviously I use this one. This thing is a mess. I didn't know you guys were coming, so uh... We got some snacks. Okay, I'll, I'll have some of these. Ooh. <laughs> so this is the main kitchen that we use. Obviously I was cooking eggs this morning. And then we got our refrigerator and freezer here. So this is where you put all the food because the other one only had water in it. This is just for food. The other refrigerator is for water. Pretty crazy to have a giant refrigerator just for water. And now we have a choice. Do we want to go this way or do we want to go this way? Oh my gosh, this hallway is so long. We gotta go down that one. All right, so we'll go this way first. This is more of my favorite side of the house because I live over this side. You pass all the cool stuff here. So the first room we're gonna go to is the living room. I thought we just had a living room. What is that? This is like a formal living room. Formal? I guess it's a little cozier because the ceiling is only 10 feet tall. These are my popcorn couches. I absolutely love them. They're super comfortable. Oh, whoa. These are comfortable. Two of these. So this is more of like a sitting room where we can sit and chat. Maybe we have to shout a little bit because you're still kind of far away. We have my nice pop socket coffee table. Pop socket. <laughs> Look at it. It literally looks like a pop socket. It is a pop socket. And then we have the beautiful shelves here with nothing on it but one piece of fan mail. This is old, right? Didn't this we get this a, years ago? This is from an OG fan. They handmade this. That, we got that back in like 2016. Yeah, I love it so much. I have it display here, but obviously I need a lot, a lot more fan mail. But then if you come in here, this is my favorite room. This is my office. Wow, now this is exactly what I need. But my house, unlike Steven's, doesn't actually have a lot of rooms. It's kind of just one large space, which is great for content. It doesn't really give me room for a beautiful office. This is amazing. I love the windows. This is the room that I actually designed myself. I wanted to go with white and gold. I wanted white because it's nice and clean and the gold is just a nice luxury touch. Yeah, I absolutely love the gold on this table. This thing is so fancy. Added more fan mail here to spice it up with a little color. We got our Lego Ninjago trophy. Oh my gosh. And then we got this really cool piece of artwork that my sister Grace got for me. Wow. So I'm just adding some things in here to spice it up to make it a little bit more colorful in here. But still pretty empty from what I can tell. We could definitely use more fan mail. It's crazy. I feel like we haven't even seen a single bedroom of the house. We've seen two living rooms. How many kitchens have we seen? Two. Only two kitchens. And now we are going to... Let's go up half a floor to my bedroom. We're about to see the primary suite of a 20,000 square foot house. This is going to be amazing. So this is my laundry room. Obviously there's been laundry getting done. So it's a little dirty. Ew. Mm. So this is one of two laundry rooms in the house and this entire laundry room is dedicated for the primary bedroom exclusively. And then this is a restricted area. Guarded by a passcode. What's the passcode? And I'm the only one that knows it, so I'm the only one that can get into this. <laughs> okay. But welcome to my bedroom. Wow, Steve, look at this place. This is huge. So this is a king bed, but it honestly looks tiny when you pan out and you look at the entire size of the room. It looks small. You have three balconies? Here's balcony number one that looks out to the lake, the front. You have balcony number two. This one's even bigger, and that one looks out also to the lake and to the side yard. This is crazy. This one's even bigger, the third balcony. I actually didn't know you had three balconies in your room. This is technically a back deck. So it's made to look out at the tennis court when we put that in. You're building a tennis court out here? That is what this field is for. Whoa, currently under construction, TBD. This house is gonna be even bigger when Steven finishes the construction. This is wild. But that's not all coming back inside. No furniture on any of these. Clearly a new house owner. We have my sauna, which as you know, Carter loves taking it apart. Love that. I modded that to get even hotter. Then this is my kitchen. So I got a fridge filled with all waters. Oh good, stay hydrated. My microwave. Have you ever used that? Never used yet. And then a bunch of cabinets that have, of course, nothing in them. Completely empty. Of course, my room is still under construction, so if any of any ideas for furniture or know any interior designers, definitely let me know. Yeah, it is definitely a struggle when you have a house this big with this many rooms, and it's pretty hard to uh, figure out what to put where, and furniture is super expensive. So are we done with the room tour? Oh no. Why don't we go into closet number one? Closet number one? Completely empty. Oh my gosh, this is huge. This is like the size of my bedroom. But 
this closet is important because these are all my outfits that I wore on the Share the Love tour. Oh, these are amazing. I do recognize some of these because I also went on tour with Steven on two different show locations and I performed live with Steven at Charlotte and at the one in DC. I was actually really nervous for that, but it was amazing. Definitely check out those vlogs. This is my Whoops. favorite outfit from tour. This is Whoa. my Lambo jacket. That's cool. It's like graffiti vibes. Custom made, of course, with the custom Swarovski shoes. This is the tour closet. These are just for display purposes only. So this is just like your storage closet, I guess. And so now we're gonna move across the hall into another hall, into another closet. My actual closet. Wow. So not that many clothes, but more clothes than the last one. Like all my shoes up here. I like these ones. These are really cool. They're actually, they say they're size 11, but they're a little small for me. So if you have smaller feet, maybe you'll fit them. Really? Yeah. <laughs> they are a little tiny for me. Oh my gosh, they fit perfect. Look how cool those are. <laughs> That is cool. And now, it's time to enter my bathroom. Oh. Now well, this, no <laughs> this place is amazing. Oh, the mirrors look great. I did pick these mirrors myself. They're LED wow. mirrors. With the backsplash lighting, shower is huge. And check this out. It has a special blue light, which is antimicrobial. <laughs> You think that actually kills bacteria? I don't know if it actually does. It looks cool. The water falls from out there, so you get a nice rainfall. And then you also have bees, which are amazing. So you have six shower heads, that shower head, the rain head, and a wand. You can literally go swimming, standing up in the shower. And then the coolest part about this house is that every single bathroom has heated floors, and that's what this is. That's amazing. And look, it even comes with a water fountain. How cool is that? Oh, that's great. Fresh water. Kind of weird they make you squat down for it though. I know, I don't know why that's there. Down this hallway is all the bedrooms. One, two, Carter's all the way up on the fifth floor. You can see over top of the family room here, as well as the front door. And then you come over here and you have Grace's room and another room here. So that concludes the master wing of the property. And now I guess we have an option to either go up another flight of stairs or down. I said we go all the way down across the hallway, all the way to the garage and check out the supercars. Yeah, let's do that. Whoa! Steve, uh, where are your cars? I thought you had a bunch of stuff in the garage here. Oh, other garage. There you are. Here we go. Now this is what I'm talking about. These are Steven's cars, starting with the very first car that we ever bought together. Believe it or not, the very first car we ever purchased was a Lamborghini. And that is something to be so proud of. And honestly, it all came back down to the daily vlogs, posting every single day, share the love, all that stuff. We spent every single dollar we ever had to buy this car. Not only is it the Lamborghini, it's the Lamborghini Sharagini. Guys, this was the video that really launched our channel to the stratosphere. We got this about 1 million subscribers way back in the day. And believe it or not, it was one of the best investments we could have made, which I'm sure your parents will never tell you that to buy Lambo, but for us, it worked out perfectly because we were able to brand this car, use it for the Share the Love Music video, which is now over 150 million views, which means Steve and I are both platinum artists. Kind of feel like Lil Wayne or something. That's crazy. I never thought that when we wrote that song that it would be so viral. I was hoping we would get a few million views on it, but 150 million views later, this car was totally worth it. Then of course, from there, we got the McLaren Richard with the vertical doors. I just love the color diversity. I love the green, my favorite. The orange with the green looks crazy. I love the vertical doors. And I also love this. This garage is awesome. And I think I might have to steal each of these cars today and take them out for a little test drive. You're welcome to take them out. We'll see. So because these hallways are so big, this is the fan mail hallway filled with nothing but fan mail has the artwork all the way through. I gotta say, this one, it might be my favorite of all time. That's from Shandor all the way in Canada. I do love this one too. Oh, that's amazing. He's got a Nerf gun. He's on the hoverboard. Share the love YouTube. And he's got his tongue out because Baby Otter always has his tongue out. And then of course, we got the exclusive tour merch over here. Share the love tour. This is the one that I performed live for the first time. Sold out share the love foam hands. And then of course we have the light up glow batons. I love these. And then more fan mail all the way down here, completely covering the walls. And here comes baby otter himself. <gasps> hey otter and Rory. Hey mom. Hello. 
perfect timing. But yeah, it was good. Oh, good boy. Otter loves his scratches under his chin. And by the way, this house did come equipped with a doggy shower. So if you have a dog and he runs around the yard like these little rascals do, you can literally put him in here and rinse him off for a dedicated dog shower. I've never seen a house that has that. And of course, it's got a sink for humans to wash their hands. I think that's just literally ridiculous. This house literally has everything. Oh my gosh, what is this room, Steve? This is the camera equipment room. So this is where you store all the camera gear to film all your videos. Wow, it looks like you have stuff from Preston, please. That's cool. And Logan, Logan, Paul. Logan Paul sent you some prime. And of course, we got even more fan mail that we have yet to open up. Look at all that fan mail. Wow, that's crazy. We gotta keep moving, Steve. I feel like we barely put a dent on this house. Crossing the hall, I guess this is the office, which is technically a bedroom because it's got a full bathroom and shower. And this is just the office. I doubt anyone ever uses that shower. Nope. And now we finally get to go on a different floor of the house. We're going down two flights of stairs, which will take us to the basement. And guys, let me just warn you, this basement is insane. Of course, we got our merch room here. Wow. This merch room is Huge, Steve. It's big, and they were almost fully stocked, but we keep selling out of merch like crazy, so we're trying to keep it populated. Wow, definitely get your Share the Love merch at stevenshare.com. Amazing options, so much color. What is this? This is the gaming room. Oh, whoa, that looks crazy. That is a cool look. If we were to sit here and film like an intro, you would have no idea where we are. That looks awesome. Isn't that cool? Wow, and we got the green screen, so you can literally put me anywhere. I could be like flying above the mountains. I could be in outer space like an astronaut or underwater. Super cool, love that. Very functional. What is this? Oh, you need a place to stay while you're here. Oh my gosh, is this another room? This is our next kitchen. It's got an oven. What? I have not even seen this room yet in your house. I've been here three times. Whoa, this is huge. It's like a master bedroom. And this is one of my favorite bathrooms in the whole house. With a full bathroom. So why do I stay up on the fifth floor when this is down here? I don't know, how many like this is. <laughs> yeah, it's just a lot of stairs, guys. This house is so big. My biggest complaint is how long it takes to walk from one place to another. What's that noise? Hello? <gasps> what is that, Steve? This is our water system. So the house has got plumbed with fancy filtration from a well. That is great. Wow, okay, so you have huge bedroom with kitchen number, what is this, three? Four. This is kitchen number four, and we're not even halfway through the basement. So remember that fish tank I was telling you about upstairs? Yeah. Well, if you go into this restricted area, you will see all the inner workings of everything that makes that fish tank possible. Check what? This, this is how everything in the fish tank works. This entire room, look at this thing. You could swim in this. This is what keeps the fish tank up there looking so clean. Everything comes down here, wow. filters through here. There's this is... a steel beam that supports everything. Whoa. That is a crazy steel beam. If you guys don't know about like structures and houses, normally houses are built out of wood, like the ceiling up here that you see. So when you see a beam like this, this is like a ridge level. And I guess because the fish tank is so big and heavy, they needed to install that and all this filtration system. You can see all of the pipes working and you can see them go all the way up to the ceiling. This is some serious system. I don't even wanna know how much this costs. I have no idea. We are now back into the prop room, which I feel like every YouTuber has some form of a prop room. I know I certainly do. My prop room is actually huge. It's insane. But this is also functional and clean. Oh my gosh, you have a gym in here too. Let's see if I can lift some weights. <laughs> ah, look at that, I'm so strong. <sighs> Does it look like I'm really strong? Super strong. They're definitely real. Moving on, we're gonna continue down and I'm gonna choose the next room. I'm gonna choose this room and it is dark and scary. Whoa, where are we? <gasps> That is amazing. We have a movie theater room, and this place is huge. The team in our house has one too, but honestly, I think yours is double the size. This is another room that I designed myself. Okay, and how many times have you used it? Zero. Yeah, I think you've used it once. If any of you want to watch a movie with us, comment down below. Yeah, we need to hold like a massive share fam movie party or something. That'd be fun. And now we are to the main portion of the basement. If you can even imagine what that means. And you can see there is another massive living room, kind of like a movie theater. And over here, don't tell me, there's another kitchen. This is the fifth kitchen. This is bigger than the kitchen in the Team Lar house. Dude. It's got the dishwasher, the sink, stovetop, microwave, ice maker. 
And surprisingly, they have a small little fridge. I mean, I guess it's functional for the basement. Huge empty space right here. And what do you even call this? I guess it's like the sitting area in the basement. See, this is ridiculous. I do not understand why you have all this space. I haven't figured out what to use with this room yet. I mean, massive square footage. And the TV honestly looks small, even though it's not. It's just so far away. And it's brand new with a sticker, never been used. You have 22 TVs in the house, you don't even use them. And I know you're wondering, for a house this big, must have an elevator, right? Well, it does. Luckily, we can call this. We don't have to go up any more stairs. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> this house door has been exhausting. <laughs> and we're not even on the upper floors yet. We're just, we've only seen two of the five floors. Elevator is here. Basement to the first floor. Here we go. Door knob is sinking into the ground. First floor is over here. I see. There's another half floor that we can see through it over this way. Come on this side. This is the gym, or supposed to be the gym. We were actually prepping for my Eat It Up music video, so we got a bunch of props. Oh, good. You have another fake weight. Let me do another fake workout here. <laughs> oh, this is a lot heavier than the fake one. I think that. Oh! oh. Okay, I think that one might be real. We have our ballet bar here. Oh my gosh, this is insane. I mean, when this is filled out to be a gym, this place is going to be huge. Woo, Steven, this house is amazing. Where did you buy this house from? Taylor Swift? That's right, Taylor Swift ended up building this house for the Blank Space Music video. She ended up using this for a couple scenes within the video, but then she shot the rest of it at the Ohika Castle about an hour away from here. The budget she had for that music video was insane, but if you look at the views, it all does make sense. And then that's where Steven came in, because a couple years later, she put it up for sale. And you walked in and bought it. Allah. It's huge, it's amazing, it's rare and ridiculous. I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Peace, woo! I love that Steven's house has an elevator. It makes me so lazy. Oh, uh, oh no. Hello? Uh, Steve? Shoot. Why is the door locked? It's falling, Steve, it's literally sinking. I feel like it's going too low. Call the ambulance.